How you doing? So I've been thinking about this for a while now and I've thought about having a new account challenge. Uh, what motivated me even more is when I see a Kabam employee that's doing a Valiant challenge, which I do think is just ridiculous. It's just so unrealistic. I get it, he's a Kabam employee and he wants to recruit new players or he wants uh, players who quit playing MCOC, want them to come back and say like, oh look, how easy it is to become Valiant. But you forget the part that, you know, all you got to do is play eight hours a day and be the best player in the world. You forgot about that part, you know. And then I saw another YouTuber that works for Kabam. He says like, is it good to come back in MCOC in 2024? Like, I, I get it, you know, why not? You know, the game is like about to die. I don't know when exactly, but they want to recruit new, new players or people that quit want to come back i get it i i get that but it's just unrealistic to, to to see these things that are like oh yeah become valiant in less than two months it's so realistic well <laughs> it's not i'm not even valiant i'm paragon and i've been playing this game for over six years you know and i spent three thousand dollars in this game you know think about it <laughs> i'm pa and i'm paragon you know but uh, what is this but i want to do this challenge and I want it to be as realistic as possible you know so I actually thought about doing a valiant challenge like can I become valiant challenge in one year but I feel like that's unrealistic for like like 99% of new players you know especially if you're pre to play you know but I feel like becoming paragon in one year as a pre to play is real I think it's very realistic, you know. I know it took me six years to become Paragon, you know, and spend $3,000. You know, that was like some bad times, I gotta say, because of COVID. I, I was staying at home all day and I felt, you know, pretty down. So what kept me like through COVID, through lockdown, was playing this game. And I ended up spending a lot of money because of that. So it is unfortunate, but it is what it is. But... You know, I think even a pre to play, considering that the game has evolved so much that it's realistic to become a Paragon in one year. So let's just talk about how the game has progressed. Let's talk about chapter one. Okay. And as you can see, chapter one is only one chapter. So it's chapter two, I believe. Chapter three has two chapters and chapter four has four chapters. So I think they cut one, two and three down. It used to be four chapters. I think because they just want new players to progress faster, you know, because like the longer it takes for them to get to the highest uh, level or you, or close to that, like Paragon level, the, the more, the less likely they're going to be keep on playing. And that's why they have these uh, Kabam employees trying to recruit them, but it's just false advertisement, you know. That's why I want to make a very realistic gameplay. I also think it's going to help my YouTube channel to grow. Is to uh, as well as understand what it is to become uh, for a new player. Uh, considering uh, with today's MCOC economy, I, I know it's a lot easier now to get new champions, like like good champions and high star champions compared to what it was back then. Um, but I want to be realistic, so I won't not be using six stars until I become uncollected. I actually thought about. Not using six stars until I become Cavalier, but I feel like, you know, the game has changed so much, even as a pre to play, that it's fairly realistic to become, uh, to use six stars after being uh, uncollected. So uh, my goal is to explore Act 1, Act 2, Act 3, Act 4 100%. Act 5, I don't know if it's really worth it to explore Act 5 100%, you know, perhaps when I have higher ranked champions. Uh, I will do it. The only reason why I will do Act 1 to 4 is because of the units you'll get for exploring and completing them, of course. But it's really just um, mostly the units why I want to explore 100% Act 1 to Act 4. Act 5 maybe in the future, but I'm most likely just going to do a completion with Act 5, Act 6, and Act 7 to become Paragon as well as what? I want to do... What do you call that? Roll to the labyrinth. There's units in there too, so I want to do that 100% as well. Talk about labyrinth of legends. You know, 
coming out uh, like um talking about realistic point of view yeah I, uh what is this i haven't ha uploaded like the rest of the completion when it comes to labyrinth of legends i did complete one path of it using six star rank five ascended diablo the reason why i haven't posted the video because it takes so long you know even just for a 30 minute video for some reason i'm not sure why it's taking like i think it would at least take at least eight hours to load for some reason i'm not sure what's going on that's why i figure out what the problem is i will have them uploaded as soon as i can i'm just gonna let you know i spent at least 10 revives with a six star rank five ascended diablo to complete one path but with better gameplay i could have definitely spent less than 10 revives but I want to say, like I said, be realistic, you know, like I think if you can play perfectly with a five star Diablo, you can complete the entire path I did with uh, with Diablo as a five star. OK, the only thing that's not realistic, I think is maybe like the Electro fight. I don't know if that's soluble with a five star. Maybe if you take away the crit mastery, you can do it. I don't know. But, you know, if you can play perfectly, maybe like MSD can do it. Solo the uh uh, the plat that the path that I did with a five star Diablo itemless, but um, you know, but then again, that's unrealistic gameplay, and you would think that just because of that, that you're gonna think that Diablo is broken. I personally don't think he's broken. I used to anyways, but I think he's an OP champion, but I don't think he's broken. So, uh, yeah. So it's as you can see, like a, a six star. I used a six star rank five ascended Diablo. You know, yes, I definitely could have played better. But, you know, I spent more than 10 revives to do a complete pad with a 6 star rank 5 ascend Diablo. Let's say I play a little better, I spent 10 revives, which is very realistic, you know, for the average player. Like, a, someone like MSD could probably spend less than that with, like, with the 5 star, okay? With 5 star Diablo. And then, if you can play perfectly, which maybe he could, he can do it without revives. So, that's just the difference between... Like the best players in the world compared to average player, just the saying that you know the realistic point of view. So when it comes to becoming Paragon, uh, like I mentioned, I want to do it in um, in one year. I think that's very realistic. When I looked at Nagasi's video, he. I first thought it was like 28 days, but you know I was thinking like, oh, he's probably playing at least four hours a day. You know, then I was like, on average, and I was like, then I looked back to his channel, it was like, it was 23 days as a pre-to-play, I believe, to become Paragon. I mean, that's just unrealistic. I'm pretty sure in 23 days, he's at least averaging four hours a day to complete that as a pre-to-play. Uh, like, I don't know if I said it already, it took me six years. You know, I did take some time off here and there, but six years and I spent $3,000 to become Paragon. Like I said, the game has evolved. So I think one year, even as a pre-to-play, is, is gonna be realistic. And I wanna keep it as realistic as possible. So I think um, 30 minutes a day on average is gonna be good enough for new players. Uh, I thought about an hour, but it just this doesn't seem realistic. Sure, an hour in one day you can do, but what about the days when you can't play an hour? You know, that's gonna like stack up eventually. Like. There's days when you don't play and then like that can like and then you have to play two hours the next day. That's just too much, you know, for the casual or new player. Like I feel like 30 minutes a day is pretty good. Like let's say you miss a day, then you can just make up the next day and play an hour. I feel like that's fa fairly realistic when it comes to new players who are playing this game. I'm not a new player, but I'm an average player. So I'm going to be as close to as a, a new player, I would imagine. I don't even know how to like get to this alliance that I am now. So I don't know how I would be able to get to the alliance that I am now. So let's go to alliance. Maybe I'll figure it out how I can get to this alliance that I have now. Maybe I don't, I don't know. Um, uh, if I don't, I'll just go to alliance. Who knows if they kick me out, I'll just join another one. Hopefully I can figure out how to join this alliance that I'm currently on right now. That would be great so that yeah that's it those are my plans and uh uh yeah talking about nagasi it, i'm sure i'm sure he's was playing at least four hours a day what is that about 92 hour hours to become paragon and if um you know taking twice as long as him in the game 
feels real. Very, I think real, very realistic for new players, considering that you're also gonna get, you know, like when you're logging into the game, you're getting daily crystals. Uh, you got the calendar, you know, that you're getting offers and units. I'm probably sure that he probably spent units on, you know, refills because he's going through the contest uh, game so fast. You don't have to worry about that if it's going to take you a year. I even think uh, as an average player myself that I think becoming Paragon in six months is realistic. I don't know if it's realistic for a new player, but if, if, if I had to start a new account, 30 minutes a day, I feel like six months is realistic for an average player. Like I know gifting event is coming in six months and I will have, I should have six, three six star rank fours by then, even as a pre to play. And then I think I just need to complete act seven. When Agassi did his um, completion, he had to do 8.1 complete, uh, complete I believe, and then 8.2, he explored it 100% to get three, three, three six-star rank fours. I think by, by in six months after the gifting event, I should have three six-star rank fours playing 30 minutes a day on average, and I just need to complete Act Seven. So it's I think it's fairly realistic. Uh, I don't know how realistic it is for new players, but I feel like that's close to being realistic for new players. Hopefully. If not, I think if not a year, I think that's just a, a very good, reasonable time, even for new players. So, what do you guys think about it? I think even you know, Naga, uh, little, little, legacy. He's probably gonna break, uh, what do you call that? Nagasi's record for uh, what do you call this? Becoming Paragon. And he's already thrown breaker in nine days, and well. Kind of well when you 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 could see his stream like he's playing at least five hours a day from his stream and you don't see him playing outside the stream so he could be playing eight hours a day so it just makes sense he would finish faster than Nagasi to become Paragon and also it's helping him because of this uh what do you call that spring cleaning event that's helping him I want to do it after because why do I want to do it after you're asking because I want it to be realistic you know. I don't want it to be like, oh, this event is uh, because it doesn't happen all the time. So I want it to be realistic. That's why I'm just waiting for this event to be over. That's why uh, why when this is over, I'm sure I'm going to start um, a new account challenge by then. So, yeah, hopefully you guys look forward to it and you guys can kind of see a realistic point of view of what a new player would go through and uh, how many how long will it take a new player to become Paragon. Thank you.